Hello and welcome to What Are You Saying? Hashtag Ways, where we talk about topics in the news as it affects us all. I am Uti Elu and I'm joined in studio today by the wonderful, beautiful Miss Dami. Hi, guys. Hello. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> um, I was just saying on the last show on Friday how I hadn't been on set with Gloria and Chinelo in a long time. Okay. He's been even longer with you. Honestly, <laughs> if I'm coming into the studio and I'm like, oh my God. I know, right? It feels like another another world. Honestly, but um, right. yeah, great to I'm see you. How have you been? Too. Happy New Year. Happy New Year to you too. Actually, we've not seen this year. Yep, yep. I've been all right. I've been good. Trying to rest, trying to work, trying to re-strategize, just trying to be an as adult. You, as you do for the new year. Oh, I like that phrase, just trying to be an adult, right? Mean, so we're just trying to be responsible. Honestly, <laughs> at the end of the day, because adulthood is... It's not the easiest of things, right. but I mean, I, I look at my son sometimes now, and his biggest concern is whether he can have cake or whether he can oh have God, puff puff, I and wish. I'm like, wow. <laughs> That I remember you. those days and I didn't <laughs> appreciate them, but that's just the irony right. of life because right. you don't know what you have to, you've lost it, life, you know, the grass is green on the other side. I mean, there's so many different back. things. You can't. can't. Somebody in all this technology needs to figure out how, how to rewind, rewind time. time. I, 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 they need to figure it out. And then, you know, now I think that as I get older, I'm now even getting to the point where I'm understanding the phrase youth is wasted on the young. Mm. I'm understanding that phrase because, mm. man, when you start to get older, wow. There's a lot of things that you had time to so do before. There's a lot that of things that you are dealing like, with. Oh, I am this old. It's, it's, it's something else. It's really, really, <laughs> it's really, really How crazy. Are you no, I'm good. I'm good. Um, I like the way I started the year, like I was saying right. last week, how you know, I took it, took it easy this year, started, um, took leave, rolled into 2024 nice and easy. So I'm, right. I'm excited about 2024. I keep telling everybody, I'm like, everything in me just tells me this year is going to be a great year. Mm -hmm. So I'm holding on to it. I don't care what the news says. I don't care what the world is saying. Mm -hmm. I don't care that there's how many wars going on right yeah. now. But I'm just holding on to the fact that this year is going to be a great year, not just for myself, but, you know, for everyone, for Nigeria, for the world, I just, I don't know how to explain it, but that's yeah. my gut feeling and I'm sticking with it by God's grace. I'm that's what we're going to get. On that one. <laughs> that's what we're going to get. So today in partnership with EIE, we will touch on the legacy of hashtag Occupy Nigeria, its achievements and unfinished agenda. 12 years ago, the abrupt removal of the fuel subsidy by the former president, um, Good luck, Jonathan, sparked national protests under the hashtag Occupy Nigeria, leaving an impact on our nation. Today, we revisit the origins of this movement, its impacts, and the unfinished agendas of the Occupy Nigeria protests. Notable demands of that protest were the immediate reversal of the removed fuel subsidy, address the corruption in the subsidy regime and the oil sector in general, request for accountability, and reduction in the cost across all sections of the government and the revamping um, and revamping the dysfunctional refineries sprawled across the country. Okay, so the highlights of the achievements of occupying Nigeria protest were um, partial subsidies and fall reduction from 141 naira per litre to 97 naira per litre, revelation of outrageous corrupt dealings in the former subsidy regime and the oil sector in general. Um, notable demands of the Occupy Nigerian protests, well, just one, so it's, it showcased the power of active citizens to demand accountability from the government. The unfinished agenda of Occupy Nigeria are limited impacts from refineries on ending corruption in the oil and gas sector, irresponsible spending amid a rising poverty. Well, so I'll just take the highlights of fuel increase in Nigeria from 2012 to uh, 2020, 2023. So in 2012, it was um, 65 Naira to... I'm not sure. I'm, I'm, I'm really not sure how to go about yeah. saying all of these um, figures. But yeah, I think it's already displayed on mm. the screen. So yeah, that's that about it. So um, the, way, the way forward, basically, um, for the government, address oil industry issues before subsidy removal, revitalize existing refineries to ease hardship, control spending amid rising inflation. Um, the Way Forward Initiative for Substantial Change, 
Citizens should take action and hold officials accountable for responsible governance. Utilize platforms such as shineyoureye.org, rather, um, tracker and OOTC chat box. Yeah, so I mean that just leads us nicely into some of the channels with which you can interact. So we have the Office of the Citizen WhatsApp channel. Um, there you can um, access and um, engage with the platform for unique and insightful civic education and a sprinkle of light-heartedness. So that's the Office of the Citizen WhatsApp channel. Um, also, we have the Office of Citizen Chatbot, which is your new assistant on civic engagement, which helps you to know your elected officials, that's your governors, your senators, your House of Rep members, State House of Assembly members, local government chairmen and councillors. Um, and you can simply get started on either of those channels by sending a hello via WhatsApp to 0170063. So I also understand that Noma has joined us online. Hi, Noma, can you hear us? Yes, I can hear you. Hello, everyone. Hi, Hi good Uti. evening. Hi. Happy Hello. New Year. <laughs> it's a Happy, Happy New Year for me as well, because I also haven't uh -huh. been on the set with you um, this year as well. But how are you doing? Lovely to see you. Lovely to see you both. You guys look amazing. I'm well. Uh, we had a... Bla a blizzard on this side of the planet so right here, the we are ice mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. it's really it, uh hits real hard and um well we're trying to adjust to the <laughs> whiteness of <laughs> of the environment <laughs> it's what interesting are you at? Minus but it's what? really what's what's the temperature about it I know came up to minus 10 Minus ten. Okay. Yes, I'm here. All right. So you're minus not you're 10, not quite at skin freezing like temperature yet. Seventeen. <laughs> but um, we can we switch weather because it's really hot here. I know. You see, someone was saying that to me. <laughs> someone was saying that to me yesterday. How they would rather switch weather with somebody, and I'm like, no. If you've been in negative weather, negative degree weather, well, trust me. I mean, you don't like Imagine literally it's you're like, no uh, you know people always think about like what it feels like at like eight degrees seven degrees mm -hmm. like single digits going into the negatives is a it's whole worse. different ball game as i'm sure noma can can tell us <laughs> <laughs> but yeah well, i mean well done keeping warm um and lovely to have you with us today so here's what we found as today's quote what else do nigerians in nigeria have to do to be safe that's a very, very apt quote for our topic today. Nama, I'll come back to you. What are your thoughts on the quote very quickly? Oh, can you, can you hear me, T? Yes, we can. Sorry, can you ask the question again? I said, what were your thoughts on the quote? So we just read the quote for today. Um, and I was just wondering what your thoughts were on it. Oh, okay. Um, I didn't hear part of the quote. Uh, um, but uh, I believe... I didn't hear a lot about the quote, sorry. Okay. All right, so, I mean, we'll, we'll yeah. come back to you. Let's, let's jump into it, and then it will probably become clearer as we go along. So a young woman named Najiba was allegedly killed by her captors after being abducted on January 9th in Abuja. Together with her father and five sisters, the attackers allegedly killed and disposed of her body somewhere for her parents to bury after they were unable to gather the 60 million naira ransom. Also, a young girl named Florencio Arillo was abducted and killed over failure to pay 50 million naira ransom in the Ducey axis of the Federal Capital Territory. Today, we will be discussing the topic, navigating national security in the face of kidnapping with the Dixon Osage. But first, let's take a quick break to see what we found in the news. Please stay with us. Thank you. 